Hello everyone, welcome to our show today. We're doing a painting especially for Howard and Connie. Uh, come over to the canvas and we'll show you what we've been doing. We, we actually put some mountains in, some trees, and a lot of foliage. And, and this is okay, but I may need to do something or to twist that a little bit, but I'm not sure about that. But Jim suggested that maybe we put a little cabin and some kind of little road going to it back in here. So why don't we do that first, and then we'll work with something else. We haven't finished our little lake here and all that. And two, I want to, uh, I, I've noticed when I step back and look at it, that this looks like it's going downhill. So I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. I, see what I'm doing? I, but anyhow, I'll probably do that with white. Okay, first of all, let's build a little cabin here. Let's build it right here. And it's way back there, so what I'm going to do... Actually, what I'm doing is scraping that color off. Okay, right along there. That's close enough. Now, in order to have a cabin, you need uh, to have some kind of color on it. Now, you can start out with real dark if you want to. In our case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start out with a little bit lighter. Where can I go to mix it? Where can I go? Running out of spots. Right there would be fine. Let's see what that looks like. That's a pretty good size little cabin. I think we'll go with that. Okay. Wipe that off. Now we need something for the front part of it. And I don't want it too light to start with. Let's see what that looks like. That might be t too dark. Let's try a little of it. Get a roll on... Now, the front of it, let's see, would it be about that wide? Let's turn it a little bit, make it. Sometimes it's hard to build a small cabin. But we'll do it, one way or the other. All right, we're getting there. I'm going to drop that uh, palette knife for just a second. I'm going to grab up a little flat. 
And I've got a couple, I don't know if you've seen these or not. Let me pull a couple of these out. These are nice little brushes. They're a little bit softer bristle. And sometimes that helps you put in uh, the detail that you want. So let's, let's use this little brush. Now, what I'm thinking about doing here I like building these little cabins. And what I might do is build a little deck on this one. That comes out like that. All right, I like that. Now what we'll do, we'll put a little post in there to hold it up. Might already get my little, little teeny brush out to do this with. But we'll just show you basically what we're going to do. Got a hire or something in it there. Okay. That's a little deck. We'll have to put a little banister around it. I'm going to lighten this just a little bit in spots, okay? Okay, I'm going to put a door in there. i tell you what. Clean that a little bit. <laughs> Let's put a red door in it. And we could put it in the middle to the side or where do you want it? Okay, rinse that out. Now the top of the house, uh, we probably should make it blue and make it a tin roof, I guess. Of course, you could put a red roof on it too. I tell you what, I'm going to get a little white now and put on there. I'm running out of spots. Let's go way over here. Get a roll of that white. Get another little bit. Now 
need to try to get a little corner on that so I see if I can do that. Sort of like that. Let's see if I can get a little area across there. Looks like snow's coming down now, and that's not what we want. Let me smooth that out a little bit. Let's do it with a dark line first. You want to? It helps if you got a steady hand doing this. I'm going to get a little bit of that color. Whoops. That's not too bad. I don't know if you see that or not. Let me make those a little darker. Sort of like that. I need to make a little line around my deck if I can do it with this. Let me try it. It's pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. A little bit more. Then we need a line around the top of it. I'm going to wipe that out. Beautiful. I'm going to wipe it again. I want some white on it. Okay. Well, I'm not picking up enough of it or something. Let me grab a little less white. Trying to get the roof line. That's got it pretty good. I need to blend the side a little bit there, I think. Yeah, a little more of that.
All right, I'm adding a little detail there. Now, probably what we should do is uh, make a door here and probably put a little path or something. Maybe going right up through here. I wonder if we can do that. Let's try it. I tell you, Jim's been doing this so long, he knows more about this than I do. He, he makes some of the best suggestions. And it makes, makes the painting better, really. Well, you see there, now we've got a little path all the way into it. Wow. I'll put a door there. First of all, I'm going to grab this other little dry brush. I'm going to blend the side of it just a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Now, we need to put a door there, don't we? And maybe a window or two, I'm not sure. I think the door on this side will make it dark. At least to start with. All right. Probably should have a window here. Probably should have another window, maybe way over here. Probably should straighten this door up a little bit. And a little window over here. All right, now that's looking better. I'll take a little darker. I'd like to cut a line right down through there, if I could. Let's see if we can. Yeah, you can't see it, but I put it there. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll make it so we can see it. We'll use white. Now you can see it. Beautiful. I like that. Good idea, Jim.
Let's see if I can level that to water just a little bit. I about got enough area right here, I think. Now, I'm just trying to get a little highlight in that area over there. I like that little cabin. That's a great idea, Jim. Well, now here, I sort of want to keep this as level as I can. Hopefully I can. Right in here, I wanted it really light. Like that. Now I've got an area there. I'm trying to keep it level. Okay, I want to clean that off real quick. I've got a few highlights I want to put in here. And I want to do that with my fan brush. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle, but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to EarlRoseArt.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop, just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com
Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle? You would love to make yourself a better artist. Then click on over to EarlRoseArt.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com You know what? I need to put a chimney on that little house because they might get cold in the winter. Real quick, let's do that. Oh, we have a small little brush because it's going to be a small chimney. Pretty good sized chimney. <laughs> Must have a big fireplace inside. All right, got about a half a minute, maybe a minute, plenty of time. All right, one quick more pull here. I just got a hire on. Let's try to get that off. Gotta be quick. That looks better. Okay. We've got it. We got about a half a minute left. You know, it's been a pleasure doing this. Howard and Connie, this is especially for you guys. I hope it blesses your heart. It's blessed us so much to do it for you. Anyhow, come back and be with us next week. We'll start another painting. And it'll be similar to this, but different. Anyhow, goodbye and God bless.